Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna see how to import designs inside principle. We're gonna create a little bit more complex animation and we're gonna see the timeline or the animation timeline in action. So yeah, let's get back to the video and let's see how to import designs inside principle. So I have this blank canvas inside principle and to import designs, you just need to go into import and if you're using sketch, then you can select sketch from here and if you're using figma then you can select figma and you can select any particular document which you are using right now so i'm using prototyping in principle level one and you can go back to principle you select that particular document and you can select the resolution or the scale at which you want principle to import those designs so i'm gonna keep at 2x and you can import the entire page or the selected frames but i want to import only the selected frames so i'm just going to select both these frames so after you have selected frames inside figma you can go back to principle and it will show you the import selected frames button activated so you can just select uh, you can just uh, choose import selected frames from there and principle will start importing all the designs all the images from figma and the same process goes for sketch as well So after a few seconds, Principal has imported both the artboards from Figma and as you can see here, inside Figma we have a design like this and inside Principal the design is a little bit different because sometimes Principal is not able to import all the properties, all the correct properties which are being used inside Figma. So we're gonna just manually, quickly manually fix those. So as you can see inside Figma we have rounded corners on the menu on the genre selector and everything is rounded but on inside principle we have this base as uh, not rounded so i'm just gonna go here inside the round corners and just gonna select eight yes that looks good and here you can see the shape is not rounded so i'm just gonna go here and i'm just gonna select 12 for rounded corners and it looks perfect same i'm gonna do here for science fiction no yeah for the second layer yeah it doesn't matter if i do for the first layer also because it's already rounded so i'm just gonna select the background layer yeah so that's how you fix some designs which are a little bit not properly imported by principle and everything looks fine here you can go back to figma you can check there yeah and yeah so let's get started so in this animation, what I want to do is connect both these screens together and when I click on this poster one or this card one, I want to go to this uh, movie details page. So let's select this card one and click on this connect and select tab from there and drop the connecting uh, arrow to the home page and you will have a connection from home page to home page two. and I'm going to go and inside the layers panel, I'm going to rename home page 2 to home uh, movie page just like the design movie page so yeah i'm just gonna close these and inside the movie page now i'm gonna see like what changes do i want here so first of all i want like i i just need to move these choose the genre you love and all the genres to the top and i'm gonna just reduce opacity to zero same thing I'm gonna do to card 2, select the card 2 on the movie page, move it down and reduce the opacity to 0. Same thing I'm gonna do to the footer bar, move it down, I'll just move it outside and reduce the opacity to 0. Now we have this card 1 and let's see what things do we want to keep here and what things we don't want. So we just want to we just don't want to keep uh, three things here which are the title movie title stars and the cta so now let's select this card one and move it to the top and let's scale it to 1.1 maybe 1.2 that's too much 1.15 yeah that looks fine and use the alignment tool to align to the edge yeah that looks better and let's 
reduce opacity of watch now of the title and of the ratings yeah so now as you can see inside our design we have the movie poster a little bit scaled up so we, what we're gonna do here is like scale this movie poster to like 1.4 and i'm gonna go move it down sorry yeah i'm gonna align it and move it down somewhere here but you can see we have borders on the right hand side and left hand side so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna group this uh, create a group for this movie poster so i'm just gonna press command g and we have this group group and i'm gonna re uh, rename the group to poster poster uh, border and i'm gonna bring these borders to a little bit inside something like this so now i'm gonna just check this option called clip sub layer so it will clip the poster inside this group and i'm gonna give some radius to this group something like this yeah this looks somewhat similar to the actual uh, design we have and i'm gonna move this base to the somewhat here yeah you can see inside the figma file also we have this design something like this so now after fixing that i'm gonna go to actual page and i'm gonna copy the movie details from there I'm gonna paste it here and now I'm gonna copy the cta from there and I'm gonna paste it here and i can see the poster is a little bit more uh, big here so i'm gonna just reduce the height of the poster somewhat here this looks good and the base also somewhere here okay this looks perfect okay so now let's copy this entire movie details on to this home page move it down and reduce opacity to zero so basically we want this details to scroll down or slide in from the bottom also i'm gonna copy the cda paste it here move it down and that's it let's try to preview the animation which we have created and let's tap on the poster it looks something like this and in the design you can see we have this back button animation also from the hamburger menu to back so we go back into principle and i'm gonna just zoom it and the lines a little bit pixelated but that's okay i'm gonna give some rotation to minus 40 degrees and to this also 40 degrees and to the center line i'm just gonna reduce the opacity to zero and i'm gonna move one pixel down i'm gonna move this line one pixel up and a little bit more yeah this looks fine and i'm gonna reduce the scale to 0 0.7 yeah and align it to the box yeah so now we have the back button here and now we can delete this movie page because we don't need it we have copied all the elements from there and now let's see the animation again we click on this movie poster this looks good let's add a different kind of uh, easing to this and let's click on here basically select all the elements here and click on spring go back reset click yeah and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this back button which is called menu here and i'm gonna click on tap select uh, connect the arrow to the home page now let's see okay the menu tab isn't having the spring ease in so i'm just gonna select all the properties all the layers and i'm just gonna do it spring here and let's preview the animation again yeah so that's how our animation looks like so you can see like 
the genres uh, and the text is moving up when I am clicking on this poster. And yeah, this looks perfect. Also, you can do is you can go again to this card one tab, select all the layers and just select or just choose like ease both and maybe you can increase the duration to somewhere like 0 0.65 and same you can do here on the menu tab select all the animation layers and choose ease both select all the last keyframe move to six zero point six five so basically this is animation timeline and when you select any connection here the animation timelines open up also you can close the animation timeline if you don't want it so just click on animate it will close click on animate again it will open up and you can also move each and every other layer in different times so for the animation to happen with some delay so and that's all we are gonna explore in the further lessons but for now just focus on the easing part and see like how the time affects the animation so let's have an look at the animation again so this is pretty slow this is not looking good and we don't need something like that so i'm gonna go back i'm gonna reduce the animation to like 0.35 go here 0.35 and let's look at the animation again yeah this looks way better than that yeah also if you want to go to like uh, want to do like something funky you can choose spring and select all choose spring back to our previous animation so that's how you do animations inside principle a little bit more complex animations where you need to uh, manually update the designs when you import from figma the designs can be a little bit uh, kind of not accurate or not uh, actual looking from the figma file so you need to do some manual fixing here and there so you already have some design tools here you have opacity you have roundness scale rotation etc so you can do some fixes here by the way a small thing i forgot to fix which is the play button on the movie page so i'm just gonna select the play button from the layers panel and i'm gonna just move it to the center of the poster somewhere here and it's upgraded just move gonna move it a little bit more down somewhere here yeah now it looks pretty fine yeah so that's it how we create animations inside principle and in the next lesson we're gonna see how to create a basic micro interaction uh, which is tab bar micro interaction inside principle